A cataclysmic collision between Earth and a comet has brought darkness and chaos upon the world. With only 1% of the world's population surviving, the once prosperous Korean peninsula now lies barren with polluted air, turning into a desert. The polluted air everywhere led to the invention of air core, which converts oxyanium into oxygen. In this time of turmoil, an attempt was made at bringing order by implementing new social norms based on QR codes that divide survivors into three distinct districts, general, special, and core, each having its unique set of rules and privileges under their belts. The remaining members, labeled as refugees, were not chosen to be among any of the three districts. Due to this, the refugees do not get access to resources such as oxygen and food. Consequently, some of them become hunters, resorting to violence to acquire these necessities. This dystopian world serves as a backdrop for the Black Knight. It is the elite deliverermen who protect the supplies from hunters and deliver them on time to the citizens in the three districts. Becoming a deliverman is the only hope for refugees to become a part of the three districts and leave a decent life. A young refugee, Sawal aspires to become like 5-8, the legendary delivery man. During the night, 5-8 and a group of unidentified people help refugees in whatever way they can, stealthily distributing resources to them. 5-8 is admired as a beacon of hope for refugees. Getting hold of a QR code through authorized means is no easy feat, given that some parties appear determined to maintain the status quo and resist any disruptions to the prevailing order. Sawal has been living with Major Zhang Sol Ah from Defense Intelligence Command DIC and her younger sibling Sewell off for more than 10 years. When the world turned upside down 40 years ago, Chairman Ryu of Chinmyeong Group built this new world. Currently, Chinmyeong Group is secretly constructing a brand new District A, which will allow the government to relocate the people of the gloomy special district that lies underground. While Chairman Ryu wants the government to handle the relocation, his son, Ryu Sok, the CEO of Chinmyeong Group, does not want to do that, as the government will also relocate the refugees where Sola and other members of the DIC have been searching for information, unaware of the danger that lurks in the shadows. For the time being, Sawal has been sneaking out and training to become a deliverman, hoping to earn the coveted QR code. After an unwise attempt to fight 5A, Sula locks him in an empty room to prevent him from escaping. Chaos erupts when a team of assassins tries to abduct Sula. Luckily, in the heat of the moment, Sawal breaks free and fights back, managing to take down a few of the assassins. But the victory is short-lived, as Sula and Sawal are both shot, leaving their fates uncertain. The tension builds as we bear witness to the aftermath of a last-second twist from two different angles. The assassin who was about to be caught chose to end his own life. Meanwhile, unable to save Sula who has already died, 5-8 takes the injured Sawal along with him after meticulously inspecting the crime scene. The stakes are raised even higher when Sol Ah orders an investigation into the recent series of kidnappings in the general district. As 5-8 and Sawal's grandpa delve deeper into the case, they begin to suspect that Sawal may be a mutant, and their search leads them to eventually uncover that Ryu Sok is responsible for the kidnappings of the children. But things take a dark turn when we learn that Delivery Man 5-7 was used by Ryu Sok to break into the general district houses and kidnap the children. 5-7 starts to have second thoughts after learning about the horrible experiments being performed on the people Ryu Sok is abducting. The gravity of the situation becomes apparent when it is exposed that Ryu Sok has implanted a device in his employees' heads that can kill them in an instant. When 5-7 tries to take his own life, 5-8 steps in to save him, only for 5-7 to be eliminated by Ryu Sok before he can expose everything he has learned. Simultaneously, the devastating loss of Sula still lingers heavily in the hearts of both Sola and Sawal. In a touching moment, Sawal visits Sol Ah's apartment and flashbacks revealed that she had saved him during the purification of refugees and raised him illegally. With emotions running high, Sawal bids Sol Ah farewell and seeks redemption by confronting the gang he defeated before. After pleading with them to hurt him or even kill him as a way to atone for his guilt, just when it seems like all hope is lost, Sawal discovers the chance to take part in a delivery man competition arranged by Ryu Sok. While Sawal seizes the opportunity to make his dreams come true, Ryu Sok is intentionally using the competition to find a new link between himself and the general district. As we see 5-8 driving towards Sawal, we are all left to wonder what fate awaits this young delivery man. Going slightly back in time, we are thrown into the middle of an intense gunfight between refugees and the oppressive Chinmyeong group. The action doesn't let up as 5-8 finds himself thrown into a mass grave, left for dead alongside countless others. But, refusing to go down without a fight, 5-8 grabs a weapon from a nearby corpse and takes out all of the guards. The story then picks up where we left off as 5-8 narrowly avoids hitting Sawal with his car. 
Spotting an opportunity, Sawal begs 5A to help him in the upcoming delivery man competition, and 5A agrees to show him the ropes. In a series of flashback sequences, we get glimpses of the ongoing war to overthrow the Chinmyeong group, and we learn that 5A works with a group of other delivery men, all former refugees who now oppose the Chinmyeong group for their abductions of ex oxyanium miners' children. What's more, we also learn that not only is this group investigating mutant refugees, many of whom are ex oxyanium miners' children who are recognizable by their metal bones and fast healing. 5-8 meets his group of delivery men at an old training facility and tells them about Sawal being a mutant. Sola, who is still suspicious of 5-8, finds out about the undercover meeting and decides to go there. 5-8 informs her about the kidnappings, sharing how Ryusak uses the chip device to kill people and shows her Chen Myung's criminal symbol. Sola starts investigating this further with her team. She is even asked by the defense minister to hand over the personal data of the people to Ryu Sok. Chairman Ryu, who supports the president's decision, wants everyone to be included in the relocation plans, but Ryu Sok only wants a select few. He needs the data to choose people. When his father refuses to listen to him, he takes matters into his own hands. 5-8 and his group start training Sol Wall as a means to get to Chen Myung through the upcoming Deliverman competition. With their help, he clears the first two rounds. The competition itself is intense, with rookie deliverymen fighting for their lives in the first round while the oxygen level drops rapidly. In the second round, competitors must deliver a package while being pursued by dangerous hunters and fully equipped vehicles. But amidst the chaos, Sawal shows his true character by sacrificing his own chance at victory to help a fellow competitor, giving up his second place victory to save Hyun Su's life and allowing her to advance to the final round. Because Hyun Su's broken arm prevents her from continuing, Sa Wall returns to the competition. Concurrently, Ryu Sok is planning a mass killing of the refugees by relocating a select group of genetically superior people to his newly developed district in an attempt to repopulate a brand new world using genetic selection. Despite 5 8 and his group managing to destroy a generating unit headed for District A, it remains a race against time to stop Ryu Sok's plan. Sawal advances to the final round of the Deliverman competition with his assigned mentor, 4-1. As the fight takes place in the core district where oxygen is available, refugees are promised meals and compressed oxygen for their attendance. Sawal wins the competition, but however, his metallic skull is revealed due to a cut on his forehead, catching the attention of Ryu Sok and revealing him to be a mutant. Back in the district, 5-8 rushes to stop Ryu Sok's evil plan, but it is too late. In the end, multiple bombs explode in refugee settlements, resulting in a massive tragedy. Discovering that he is a mutant, Sawal begins to feel the weight of the danger this knowledge puts him in, especially from Ryu Sok. Soon after the competition, Sawal receives the Deliverman QR code, which makes him the new 5-7, and is quickly assigned his first mission. But when Sawal undergoes a checkup, Mr. O informs Ryu Sok of his mutant status, and we learn that Ryu Sok is in need of a mutant stem cells to find a cure and treat his own medical condition. Is this the reason Ryu Sok was kidnapping and experimenting on the refugees? In the meantime, 5 8 and his team of ex refugee deliverymen decide to take matters into their own hands by abducting Ryu Sok. But before they get started, Sol Ah, who has been investigating the triangle tattoos, reveals to the group that Ryu Sok's triangle tattooed minions have all undergone brain operations, stripping them of emotions, making them follow orders and carry out their tasks before committing suicide. On the other hand, Ryu Sok, who now plans to use Sol Wall to cure his illness, pretends that he has accepted the relocation of the refugees by offering free vaccination for them. 5 8 earlier found out about the bombs because he had captured one of Ryu Sok's men. Through him, 5-8's group as well as Sol Ah's team reach Mr. O, Ryu Sok's right-hand man. They force Mr. O to keep them informed about Ryu Sok's activities. In a chilling revelation, it is revealed the Chen Myung group has been deliberately polluting the air to keep the people dependent on them for oxygen. The Chen Myung group's power is closely tied to the value of oxygen, which remains a scarce commodity in high demand. Once 5-8 and his team find out about Ryu Sok's plans, they decide to act quickly to prevent him from carrying out his deadly scheme. Their plan, 5-8 takes aim at Ryu Sok with his sniper rifle. 5-8 aims his gun at Ryu Sok, ready to carry out the assassination. But in an infuriating twist of events, Mr. O betrays 5-8's group and Ryu Sok manages to escape, leaving the deliverymen frustrated and out of options. Sol Ah exposes everything Ryu Sok has done to Chairman Ryu who is genuinely a good person who wants to help the world. Learning the terrible things his own son has done, Chairman Ryu grants the president control over the oxygen supply in an effort to stop Ryu Sok. But the situation quickly spirals out of control when the defense minister comes to take Ryu Sok into custody, but instead, kills his own guards. Desperate for a solution, Ryu Sok holds his father's gun to his head, 
and in a tragic turn of events, the defense minister ends up shooting Chairman Ryu, leaving the Deliverymen with no choice but to fight back against Ryu Sok and his forces. As Ryu Sok continues his coup, suspending all oxygen deliveries until the Deliverymen are captured, chaos reigns across the country. The situation becomes even more serious when people who received the vaccinations start dying. All is part of Ryu Sok's plan. When Sa Wall is kidnapped, Sola, 5-8 and his deliverymen launch an attack on the core district as they were given the core district's blueprint by Sa Wall's grandpa, who had worked with Chairman Ryu in the past. After several intense battles and a brilliant distraction created by a barely conscious Sa Wall, 5-8 is finally able to shoot Ryu Sok, leading to a massive explosion that kills many of the key members of the Chinmyung group. In the aftermath of the chaos, the president promises to create a fairer society without the oppressive QR codes. 5-8 and Sawal continue to work as deliverymen, growing closer as they navigate their world's uncertain future. Despite the hardships they've faced, the season ends on a hopeful note as we see the skies above Korea start to clear without the toxic impact of Ryusok and his men.